I just got back from one of my favorite places in the entire world, Harbor Freight. And for about 80 bucks, I just got kind of all of the different things that I am gonna need, including a 12 volt charger, including a battery shut off. And I thought, you know, cables are so expensive, so why don't I just get one of these jumper cables? It even has like a battery indicator in line. So I'm thinking uh, that would help me out to know my battery level. This is all the 12 volt stuff, by the way. Um, 48 volt stuff will come later once I actually get the hub motors. But for now, I wanted to build what I need for the 12 volt battery system. Funny story about this one. This is a set of four tie downs, but you notice that one of the tie downs is missing. So there's three fourths of the product here and they've got it labeled as an open box. Save 16%. 25% of the product is missing, but you save 16%. So I brought it to her uh, at the front, the front counter and I said, hey, do you realize nobody's gonna buy this because you're still paying for the, th the fourth one that's missing? Or would you be willing to knock off a couple more bucks for this one? She gave it to me for almost half price. Very, very kind, very generous. But now I have three uh, six foot tie downs. I don't need long tie downs. All I need to do is tie down the battery box and that's it. I would call this a uh, very successful haul. Uh, I'm going to open up a couple of these things and, uh, and start to work with them. Okay, we just came back with a haul of batteries. I actually got a deal on them too. They were the cheapest batteries he had and he gave me a deal on them. I got 10 batteries. I'm not going to need 10 batteries for the entire project, but I will need six batteries for the lighting system to give it 30 amp hours. So I'm gonna check each of these just to make sure they're topped off. But, uh, I'll put the hot terminal on. Put the negative terminal on. And starts charging. Well, some of these definitely need a charge. This one has been charging for a little while. Uh, this one is the one I need to check with the multimeter. These ones have been fully topped off so far. And then these two have given me a fault. So I'm gonna have to figure out what that means. I have my first fully charged battery. Uh, it's just over 12 volts. It's actually pretty close to that number. And I don't have any of my cables or anything, but I do have this jury rigged. <laughs> I know that the plus side, the left one is the inside, the barrel. And then the left side, or excuse me, the right side is the negative, the shaft. And I've got, this is the closest thing to a decent cable I could find. I don't mean, they're all, they're both red too, golly. I'm going to plug this one to the positive and then this one to the negative. Can I do this with one hand? This is insane. Just like clip it on and positive. Oh, it works. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I can't hold these. That's what those terminal connectors are for. So I plugged in these lights yesterday. Well, one at a time just to see what they would look like. And it did light up, but very, very dim, <laughs> very dim. And I wondered why. So I opened it up. It's actually not terribly hard to open up these carriages. Uh, each one has uh, a, a, a light cover and then kind of a rim around it. I love this rim. Just look at that, my goodness. I took it out and sure enough, in here was one of those uh, two pin, uh, they call them bayonets. And sure enough, printed on it, let's see if I can make that show up on camera, 56 volts, <laughs> 15 watt. So it's not gonna put off a whole lot of light anyway, but the voltage is just out of control. So I'm gonna see if I can find a 12 volt. All of the stuff that I'm doing here is 12 volt. The canopy is 12 volt. Uh, these lights, I'd love for them to be 12 volt. Uh, you know, everything, the radio for heaven's sakes is 12 volt. So I want to find a bulb like this, but 12 volts, if I can find just a nice bulb that's a, that's a decent price and a decent size and, and voltage. So uh, it's 15 millimeter. I learned a couple things. It's called a bayonet, 15 millimeter. It's like a B, BS. 15 or something, I forget the code, but there's a code to it too. Um, I went to bulbs.com and you can search by base and this is a bayonet. 
So anyway, I thought that was interesting. I will uh, find a bulb and I'll get back to you. I went to my local auto parts store yesterday. Hi, sugar. And I found in replacement for my 56 volt, I found the exact same thing in 12 volt. It says 13.5, but printed, engraved on the side of this thing, it says 12 volt. It's kind of upside down right there. It says 12 volt. So I'm gonna replace these out and then we'll test them. See what, uh, see what color they are. It says on the package that it's yellowish kind of whitish yellow. We'll see what that actually means, like a warm white, who knows. Let's flip them on and see. So in case you're wondering, yes, these were a total bear to put back together. Um, it's a Phillips head on one side, and a just a, a nut on the other side that refuses to thread. Uh, so I had to hand hold it while I spun it. And it doesn't need to be all the way closed down. What's keeping it together is a tiny little pin. You can see that pin right there. Ooh, there, you can see the pin now. That little pin, that's what's keeping this upright. So if you're ever having a hard time getting this together, this outer ridge sort of clasps onto the lip of one and the other and just holds them all in. So yeah, it's in place now. Okay, let's test this out. I'm not gonna connect it with anything. I'll just hold them in place. I've read that the green is the negative. Ah, does it work the other way? It's not a diode. Should work both ways, yeah. Cool, and that's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be super bright or anything. Just a nice little 12 volt, just to warm your life. I like it. All right, let's take a look at this one too. Should be pretty much the same. One and the other, ta-da! Nice little light. This will look nice at, at light. A nice little light at night, huh? Cool. All right, I would call that a success. So these batteries, they work, they're five amp hours each, but they are heavy beasts. I don't have my lithium battery right yet, but you know what? This is just kind of just a practice, just to see it work, you know, just for testing and stuff. So I'm okay with it being not very, uh, not very efficient. Uh, it is also pretty heavy. So, uh, and notice I bought 10 of them, but there are only eight here because Shame on those two. So we're using the eight, and I'm gonna wire them in parallel so that we keep the same voltage but, uh, but increase the amperage by a magnitude, in this case, a magnitude of eight. So five times eight, we should have uh, 40 amps running through, and that should be long enough to power, I'm sure, all of those lights and a radio for probably, a, I don't know, I, I was trying to calculate how long it would be, but. It, not every light and not every thing said how long the uh, how much wattage it took up so i'm sure it'll be an hour and a half maybe an hour but uh, if it's longer than that cool um but uh, at 12 volts we'll see how all that happens my next step is i want to create a battery shutoff this was i think seven dollars at harbor freight uh, if you didn't know this harbor freight is one of my favorite places in the entire world one of my favorite places in the entire world harbor freight um, and the way it works is that you put a little pin inside this hole and give it a turn, it's basically turning the ignition on. It's, it's connecting the battery. Um, and it comes with two of these little keys. One I could probably keep right on the Surrey close by, maybe the driver's side or something. And then one I can just keep in the car or whatever. Um, and you turn this and it connects this. So on the, on the positive end, on the load end, we're gonna have this from the reds. <laughs> battery in, load out. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I thought maybe it'd be fun to put it on the, on the top or maybe on the side here. So I found two 
bolts that are going to work just great. Little flathead bolt and a nut that fits them. And honestly, this thing is kind of pressure fitted in here, but just for the sake of safety, I am going to actually bolt it down as well. Now, I've already made the marks, so now I just have to puncture through and uh, drill those in and screw them in. All right, it's all bolted in. Here's the key. And when we're ready to ride, we just click it like this, and then the batteries are live. There it is, and it's locked into place. Next step is to wire up the batteries in parallel. I am halfway through the battery project, and uh, it looks like all of the reds will go to the hot wires, and they're all securely in place. They're coming back to a single terminal. There's our makeshift terminal. And that terminal leads out into this shutoff, which is currently shut off. Uh, and then it will lead out to the rest of this. And this thing even has a little battery indicator. But yeah, now I'm going to plug in the other side. I'm gonna wear a pair of gloves. Um, I would rather not get a little shock today. So I'm gonna wear these cloth gloves create a little bit more resistance between me and completing a circuit. <laughs> I'll come back and you'll see that all the negative wires are together. All right, the kids walked by and called this the bomb. So I agree, it looks a little uh, explosive. Okay, these batteries are all wired up. I got the positives together, I got the negatives together, and they are all nicely compacted into here. I've got my switch so that I can just turn the key this even has like a little battery indicator on it. That's awesome. And uh, let's, let's test it out. Close this battery box, stick it on the back of the Surrey. I connected the end of this thing as jankily as I could to the terminals of our, of our uh, LED lights. So let's plug that in and see it work. Okay, so here we've got the positive and the negative. And they are running down a wire up with the correct polarity to our little controller and it's running the lights. Wow, that's Red, green, cool. blue, red, green, blue. And if I test these, let's see if I can do this with one hand. If I test these, I've got 11.2 volts. Not great, but uh, you know what? It'll work. It's charging these things, it's running these things. And so I'm feeling pretty good about this and we are completely mobile. Protecting so now things. to turn this thing off, I just flip this switch, take out the key. Now you can see my little battery indicator is dead again. Okay, moment of truth. I know it's janky, but we're still waiting for parts from Amazon. Put the key in. Turn it on. Ha <laughs> ha! Headlights are live. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks insane. Set to music mode? What do you have it set to? 